Hello, Ken Jacob, my name, from Ray White Tug in Eleanora, welcoming you to 320 Pigabean Road in Currumbin Valley. We're only just under 10 minutes from Currumbin Alley Beach here, so up in the hills, you wouldn't believe it. We've got incredible ocean views here, all that over Currumbin. High up on the hill, catching the beautiful breezes. We've got an older style A.V. Jennings home, about 35 years old. Uh, brick and tile, with solar power, I've got a pool. It's certainly in need of some TLC, you know, the lovely couple who are living here in their 90s, you know, it's just got too much for them looking after the grounds and the house and everything and their health's not ready. But for someone who wants a beautiful project to take on and make this their home, we've got a really good, good bones here on this gorgeous property. Have a look. For the garden enthusiast, plenty of opportunity here to play in the gardens. Here yeah, we've got to have the, um, this would have been your veggie garden patch many years ago. You know, younger and fitter. Four paws there. It's a beautiful little spot just here. in this gorgeous little little garden spot here you still get the ocean view not sure how as usual videos and cameras don't pick up these ocean things too well but that's clear as a bell lovely ocean there out there yeah. of ponies. You can see the love of the gardens, there's pots everywhere, so gardening equipment, gardening pots, gardening plants. <coughs> bedroom as well you can see right out to the ocean from the master bedroom small little garden areas out here The other driveway which you'll see later in the video but there's two driveways one coming down into the house and this one comes down into the property so it's a sealed driveway as well so there's two driveway entrances to the property oh. hey did you catch that little wompy little swamp wallaby <laughs> an old fish pond So coming down from the house, we've got the track going down to here, and there's two paths. We've got another driveway, which goes all the way back up to Pigabean Road. So there's another complete access into the property as well. And then that one, they all combine here and come down. And this is a long, narrow paddock. All across the top, we've got one up there, another one here, another one here. It's been terraced some time, many, many years ago, so there's going to be different terraces. You might see the ticker tape fencing, so there actually is, they've currently ha been having horses on here, so it's, um, it's just makeshift ticker tape fencing, but throughout the property. Got 
another another paddock section off here as well. So you can do with a bit of a mow in here. We've got um, water coming down to here as well from the tanks up the top, just gravity fed down to here. Take fencing is still all around, you know, the, the edge, mostly on the edge of the gully, more so, not so much the edge of the property, but just on the edge of the gully. Keep going down. There's more, keep coming. <laughs> Believe it or not, we're only about halfway on the property actually. We're not going to be walking at all. But I'm going to show you down to the dam down here. <coughs> see this big dam like it's a huge dam the actual current owner actually put this in many years ago so it's a big catchment dam uh, they can also pump up to the house as well you know for all their gardens because there's a lot of gardens here so they use that water for that as well um, well so we're about halfway down the property here so just along this little track Come across the lake. So that's a gully which runs down and fills this lake up, and then it overflows when it's full down the side, and it runs, and we've got a lovely little creek sitting through here. So this goes through the property, and then all that bush up there also belongs to this property. So if you've got any kids in the family or big kids with um, exploring hearts, this is a great place to go exploring in here, just the wildlife. It's just a really, really magical piece of forested um, property. It's pretty much full canopy, so there's not much undergrowth, so you don't have to do anything with it. It looks after itself. Um, and this dam, I said, enough water to feed your animals that you might be running up on the land here and, and the gardens up the top. All right.